Hey guys, what's cracking? This Crack Nation here. I'm coming at you guys with the next installment, or actually, should I say, we are coming at you guys with the next installment Dang. of <laughs> of uh, the DLC data mine analysis. We're going breaking them down by generation, and we're going to take a look and just give you our thoughts on what's maybe competitively viable, what's been significantly buffed, maybe not so significantly buffed, all that good stuff, so you can uh, have a good idea what you're looking at before the DLC expansions drop. Dan, go ahead and say hi. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Let's get cracking in Gen 3. <laughs> yeah, all right. So this quick quick, uh, quick anecdote or side story. Gen 3 was my first generation of Pokemon um, mm. that I had, like, a game for, I should say. Um, right. So this gen has a place near and dear to my heart. Uh, say, are you going to start getting sentimental on Yeah, me? seriously. Uh, <laughs> I... Uh, I remember I had a mud. My first Pokemon ever was Mudkip, a Mudkip named Max, because Max, because <laughs> <laughs> Max was my best friend's name at the time. So I just was like, I'm gonna name my Mudkip after him. Um, and then I had the Max the Mudkip, and eventually uh, my dog chewed that one up, that cartridge up. So it didn't last too long. Oh, no. <laughs> Max. <laughs> So uh, uh, that's how you know you had it, that was your best friend is when you're naming your starter after him. Exactly, dude. And you know, like I had like so much. Like I had like infinite rare candy because I had, my friend bought an action replay. I don't know if you remember those or not, but it was no. like this. It was this little thing that you could like plug into the game slot, game cartridge on your Game Boy, and then the game went into the game cartridge. The game like itself went into that. So it was like this uh -oh. kind of like adapter type middle thing, and then you like would just like. You could put in cheat codes that you found online, and it would just hack in like infinite rare candies, or like <laughs> every Pokemon you see is now shiny, or like. So I remember also in Pokemon Emerald, at least in the Battle Frontier somewhere, there was this glitch where you could clone Pokemon, and so I had uh. I had a level 100 Swampert that I had rare candy max the Swampert now it was level 100, and I had like cloned him like 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> just the boys rolling like, out. It was like a, it was like a go talk to this person, talk to the, uh, like go to the PC, put them in this spot, uh, go into like the trade center, turn off the game without wallet saving, come back, it'll say corrupted. You log on, boom, there's a Pokemon, two Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. It was like this really like, complicated. You remember, you remember the details? Yeah, of this. <laughs> dude, I just remember like there's some crazy glitch that I just cloned. Anyways. Enough of a side story. Just yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll actually do what the video is supposed to be. About, <laughs> <I guess. laughs> All right, so let's start with Sceptile. Um, cool stuff here, actually. Uh, Dragon Dance is kind of neat, I think, probably for it. Uh, we were talking about this a little bit with Mega Sceptile with Dragon Dance. It's kind of the same way that Mega Aerodactyl might be able to use Dragon Dance, where you run bulkier sets and you click yeah. Dragon Dance. But the thing is about Mega Sceptile is it already got Swords Dance, so I'm not sure where that fits in in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, you know what else I like? If we're talking about regular Sceptile with Unburden, you could get a Solar Blade off. Ooh! The Solar Blade works with... Uh, the, the Barrier. Or yeah, or yeah, dude. It probably does. That's, that's an interesting idea. So then you get that Unburden boost, and you got one powerful Solar Blade off in the meantime. Yeah, you can smack them, and then if you want to run Leaf Blade, because I feel like you don't have great coverage anyways. Maybe you do. But. Speaking of coverage, you now have Cross Poison. Sure. Um, so if you wanted coverage, you now got that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's, we got Dan for the big brain right here. That's, that's some, that's some cool stuff actually. I like that. But yeah, so it's now, I should say, um, what's interesting is, uh, unless you're running acro, ooh, if you run acrobatics on that set, that's kind of nice too, actually. Yeah, I like that. Won't have your item, yeah. So go like acrobatics, solar blade, leaf blade, maybe like earthquake, and then yeah. boom. Now, keep in mind, you have a really crappy physical attack stat. Um, so. <laughs> so don't worry about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Blaziken's a Pokemon I've already talked about a little bit, actually. Um, yeah, this looks huge. But U-Turn is, first of all, any Pokemon that gets U-Turn, it's an automatic buff for it, like, a, yeah. it, at a huge level. Like, any Pokemon that gets a move that grabs initiative like that, automatically huge. Um, right. And now he's got some mixed potential they sort of got like a infernape uh recoloring i guess yeah no like <laughs> literally Except even infernape doesn't have aura sphere um yeah no and it's got close like close combat aura sphere so and it's got the mixed attacking stats to use them it's got 120 attack and 110 special attack yeah does he get vacuum wave wait a minute like if we compare that to oh, he does. Wow. compare that compare this to and dude just to compare Infernape has 104 in both stats. Both of Blaziken's offenses are higher than both of Infernape's. 
Yeah, now, Infernape's got that speed, so... Mm, they've got pretty similar bulk. Like, very, very similar bulk. Like, almost, I think, in practice, will be just exactly the same. Infernape's 28 extra points of speed are probably huge. Um, but... Yeah, but if you're ever in a format where you can make use of speed boost, which is unlikely... But... Uh, yeah, that's true. But if you were running speed boost, exactly. If you're running speed boost, Blaziken, this got some tools. Because close combat now it's go-to physical fighting move. Because you don't have to run, like, sky uppercut anymore. Right. Or, like, superpower. Um, and then Aura Sphere, as a, so you don't have to hit focus blast. This is nice. Yeah. And you can throw in special moves, too, and hit just as hard. Or a slightly less hard, I guess, but still. Yeah, no, you're, there's there's a decent special move pool here. I mean, it's got, at least now, it, I should say, um, Solar Beam, I guess. It's got Vacuum Wave, if you wanted that priority still. Yeah. That's kind of baller. Yeah, now it has Aura Sphere. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is some... And then you're always going to feel okay if you put U-Turn as the last spot on any, any of these. Like, let's say you go like a Life Orb Special Attacking set, and you go Aura Sphere, Vacuum Wave, Fire Blast, and U-Turn. And you're going to feel okay clicking U-Turn like, anyways, because it's your pivot move. Yeah. That's really cool. I like that. Um, so moving on to the boy, speaking of Mudkips and Swamperts here, we Max, got uh, a, yeah. we got, <laughs> we got um, Swampert learning some a lot of moves actually here. Swampert's getting a lot. Uh, I feel like most notably probably Bulk Up is probably the biggest one. Uh, but honestly, Darkest Lariat, Liquidation, Body Press, all also very good. Honestly, got a lot here. Yeah, Bulk Up's um, really cool too. Because it you used to run curse sets, but now you can make use of its threatening sixty speed stat and not <laughs> run, not run curse and just run bulk up. But that could be useful for like let's say you're playing against something like a Ferrothorn, honestly, um, mm. where like a Ferrothorn could hit you super effectively with a power up or something. But now you're bulking up and you're not cursing, so you're not going to lose the speed. You're still going to add speed Ferrothorn, and then you can click maybe the really powerful earthquake or body press even in this case or something. Yeah. So there's there's a lot of the thing is like you're it's gonna out, let you out remain faster than a lot of the really slow tanky Pokemon that maybe were problems for you in the past, which yeah. is nice. Yeah, and especially because now body press synergizes with bulk up too. Absolutely. You're boosting your defense. Yeah. Um. And it didn't. And like now it gets a dark coverage move. Like it didn't have any dark moves before. So. <laughs> It's that is now darkest layer is now its go to move to hit ghost and psychic types. Yeah. So cool. that's like a legitimate, very legit coverage move because it had nothing to hit those Pokemon before. <laughs> like bite was bite was what you were working with. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that is really nice actually. So I'm really liking Swampert actually. Like and not nothing crazy, but just overall got some tools that'll make it just better in niche ways that'll add up I think. Um. So Mighty Yena, Mighty Yena. I don't know how to say that one. It's kind of a, what? Poochiena. Poochiena and Mighty Yena. Um, I mean, Nasty Plot is interesting. Uh, uh, I don't think. Unfortunately, <laughs> this Pokemon does not have a lot going for it. Never has. Um, I never even knew if God Moxie is a hidden ability. I'm going to be honest. I, I yeah. don't know. I don't know anything about this Pokemon in competitive play. I just remember thinking it looked really cool when I had it in Pokemon emeralds back in the day i'm like wow this pokemon looks sick <laughs> and then you started using it and you're like wait a minute <laughs> <laughs> um it's got a cool move pool it's got like play rough like if i wish it had like strong jaw because then psychic fangs would be really cool on it because it's got like crunch ice fang yeah poison fang thunder fang That's fire fang i feel like this would have having to eat like this is one of those things like game freak what are you doing dude give this pokemon <laughs> strong jaw <laughs> yeah wow it's weird i didn't even know he has intimidate and moxie yeah, those are like good abilities. He's basically a Gyarados. <laughs> but yeah, Psychic Fang, I guess, is a buff, but to, it's a buff to a Pokemon that's basically unusable. Yeah. <laughs> so, like. Yeah, speaking of unusable, if you want to talk about Beautifly, I think actually anyone who is using Beautifly, which, I mean, you're not, but you're running Quiver Dance and you, like, didn't have a special flying. Is that true? Wow! Yeah, How did you know that? How did have you used Beautifly before? <laughs> you best like, believe. It. <laughs> that's hilarious. I was like, I didn't know it. I, feel, I just figured it always got Hurricane. No, it doesn't get. It doesn't get hurt. You were using Air Cutter if you were using anything. That's so. hilarious. Wow, Dan. Dan with the experience using Mons that nobody else has ever touched. <laughs> Dude, Air Splash is a big buff to my boy Beautifly. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Honestly, Heavy Duty Boots pl 
too. So now you're not taking this OU threat right here, dude. Yeah, what 100, the heck? 100 special attack. Mm. Move no, over, Volt. This thing Volt. is so bad. This thing is so <laughs> You had to run hidden power because you have no moves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the special I mean, like, move. I'll run hidden power to hit the occasional steel type. It's like, no, you're running hidden power fire because you can't run anything it, else. It gets like energy ball, psychic, shadow ball. True, true. Maybe I'm being too hard. Bug buzz. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Although, to be fair, it's like just another one of these bugs that just gets quiver dance and you're not sure if you want to use it or never or not, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's not like your opponent is guessing at what you're about to do. It's like do. <laughs> the Beautifly, Mothim, Masquerade, speaking of which, yeah. Dustox, like... <laughs> um, that would be a true. Dustox gets the the move of choice on this <laughs> series, apparently. <laughs> Venom Drench. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, does, does it even get toxic spikes? No, so all right, whatever. We're gonna move on. Um, yeah. Swellow already had baton pass, so I guess Taylor now also gets it. But oh, I don't. It, so I guess an LC for, like little like little cup formats. That's kind of cool, but overall yeah. nothing big there. Um, Insurance is whatever. I guess. Yeah. Speaking of Masquerade, gets acrobatics. Masquerade is just strictly better than like something like Beautifly. Um, it's got the same special attacks that it's significantly faster. It's got Intimidate for an ability. I love that. Um, yeah, I love it. It's hilarious because I guess because it like looks like a spooky face when it's like. It looks, yeah, he was he's he's faking you out. He looks bigger <laughs> and spookier than he is. <laughs> Which is honestly like good i guess you call this like lore but like good flavor of the pokemon yeah. you know like they did a good job but this I thing's think. unlike beautiful it also has a really good move pool um yeah and it's got sticky web it's got sticky webs acrobatics i don't we're just talking about acrobatics useless you're never running it i don't know why it would, <laughs> but like honestly like let's take a look here hydro pump bug buzz energy ball ice beam scald shadow ball air slash giga drain fell stinger who says you can't run a physical yeah sorry match? my bad my bad my bad you're right <laughs> um anyways i'm a big fan of masquerade i always thought it was a pokemon that got slept on a little bit um yeah like it's typing is kind of lame but now that it can have heavy duty boots you won't struggle with uh, rocks as much absolutely oh yeah you so it's it's kind of balling out i love it nice Boy, Shroomish and Breloom up next. I Okay, so a lot of things seem to be getting close combat, and Breloom definitely has a nice attack stat. Uh, I wonder if this will bring more viability to non-technician Brelooms, because if you're running technician, then you're not going to be running close. Well, I guess it depends, but uh, technician Breloom likes to run Bullet Seed and Mach Punch and that stuff. Uh, but maybe if you see, maybe you can see more poison heal balloons if you're gonna be seeing uh, balloons. Yeah, close, I don't think I don't think close combat is necessarily per, like completely precluded from being run on um, technician sets. But I see your point, um, mm. where you're because you're usually running like bullet seed as your go-to attack on those sets, anyways. Yeah. Um, but so close combat's not useless. But I definitely think yeah, it's probably on poison heal has a little bit more viability. I know like a set that was very common on not. Let me amend that. It's never very common. <laughs> it was just a set that was sometimes run. Was Poison Heal sub Focus Punch? Yeah. Um, which close combat still doesn't really fit into that picture. Right. So, it's 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 a buff. I mean, I I'm sure like there's gonna be times where you're it's like your strongest fighting move. Um, that isn't Focus Punch, obviously. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I think it, it can find some some use, honestly, but. Yeah, I think it kind of struggles just because what Breloom has always done is other things than that. Yeah. So and you want to make use of Spore. Yeah, exactly. Um, so maybe it's a consideration. Yeah, definitely. Um, all right, so moving on, we got Slacking. Slaking? Slacking? I'm not sure. Um, slacking. <laughs> but uh, definitely none of these are that useful, I think. Um, because it had Earthquake. And it's got a really high attack stat, so you don't want to use body press. You'd rather just use your own fighting move. I'm pretty sure it gets, like, close combat or something. Mm. What does it get for fighting moves? It gets a uh, hammer arm. That's good enough. Um, focus punch. <laughs> <laughs> this Pokemon, dude. <laughs> I, I, I think it's kind of underrated. I always really liked using it. Like, yeah, if, well, if, just because people hate Truon. Well, obviously, but... It, it, it is... I don't know. It's kind of fun. Um, 
<laughs> I enjoy it sometimes. <laughs> <sighs> oh, whoa, sorry. Uh, but your boy x got Hydro Pump. Yeah, it already had Surf. Mm. So, that's not a big buff, but I guess... Like, 99% of the time, you'd rather just be clicking Scrappy Boom Burst. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> like... Like, you, you didn't really ever click other moves. The only time you ever clicked another move was occasionally you clicked Fire Blast or Focus Blast, hit, like, a Steel type. Right. And that was the only other move you ever thought about clicking, really, besides Boom Burst. Um, so, True. Hydro Pump, like, I don't know. Maybe it's niche it's useful. Yeah. yeah. But I think overall probably not that big. Um, <laughs> Haryama with some nice moves here, actually. Uh, did it already have Earthquake? Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Um, body. Seems like the default answer is usually yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, so then, if that's body press, probably not that useful because your defense stat's really low, and mm. you already have a high, a lot of like you have close combat with a high attack stat, so you would never run body press. Heat crash, I guess, is hits bugs. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, it, it had fire punch though, like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but. Looks like a big boy though. Maybe he could, he could squash some <laughs> little Pokemon. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Um, all right, moving on. We got Delcaddy, which I've Pokemon I've never seen in a competitive battle in my life. Um, well, maybe I, you're about to. It gets nasty plot. Off of 55 special attacks, that unfortunately. <laughs> I'll be with a kind of cool move pool. Like I'm seeing like Hyper Voice for Stab, Ice Beam. Now, da Draining Kiss, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball. But it's still unusable. Like, <laughs> who am I kidding? Payday, well, it though? Has, uh, it has Normalize or some weird does it? ability like that, right? Oh, it does. Wow, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> it, it's I like the opposite of every other... Like, all the other ones are, oh, your normal type moves are like flying type moves. But this so, one's like, like everything what's... is a normal type move. <laughs> Is that good? I, I, I don't know. I, like, you'd rather I run... Know. I guess you never want to run Hyper Voice then. You want to run, like, any other, like... <laughs> like, I guess, like, maybe, like, Blizzard or something is your highest base... Giga Imp... No, that's a normal type move already. What's right. your highest special type move that isn't... Sorry, your highest non-normal type special move is Solar Beam. That's so. pretty good. <laughs> Blizzard, Blast I guess. Up. Dream Eater, does it get Hypnosis? Oh my god, if it got Hypnosis, that would have been sick. <laughs> hypnosis. Yeah, Pokemon is bizarre. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. Well, Payday 2 in case you wanted to make that money. But otherwise, <laughs> nothing crazy. Um, Sableye gets Swift, nothing there. Maul gets Swift, fair. nothing there. You can skip right over this. <laughs> yeah, and then Agron, the boy, gets a lot. Namely, yep. Body Press, which is <laughs> awesome. I've been waiting for this day forever. Um, I mean, Mega Agron. I mean, regular Agron too, but Mega Agron clicking those fat Body Presses, dude. Coming off a 230 defense stat. Like, I feel like people don't realize how insane that. I wish it was Stab, I guess. But... That's, like, imagine any Pokemon with a 230 attack stat clicking any move. <laughs> you yeah, know? I like uh, I like Sand Tomb in conjunction with, like, Curse and Body Press. Just force someone to stay in with you as you set up. I mean, what you, why would you just run, dude, just run uh, Mega Aggron with Iron Defense. Ah, fine. Body Press. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make a set right here. Body Press, Iron Defense. It already had Whirlpool, so... But now you got stabs. Well, not if you're mega. But <laughs> yeah, sure. Sand sure, sure. <laughs> Yeah, that, that stab. That stab first turn sand tomb attack. <laughs> um, and then like in the last spot, honestly, just run like rest. <laughs> yeah. And you have a like. Let's say you're if uninvested, like no investment. Its defense stat is 496 with like <laughs> <laughs> no investment. Like. Imagine you let's just go to um, max it out 614. And then you go for iron defense and now it's 1200. What, 12, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's fun. Um now, unfortunately it's not stab, but it's probably still really strong. Um and yeah, then it doesn't even matter. <laughs> but so I mean, what when he, he, what he, let's watch me spit these facts right here. 
when are you when are you not gonna want to click body press when there's a ghost or a psychic type on the field right well, what did yeah. it get? Is it's a new go-to move to hit ghost and psychic types? Crunch! It got crunch. So oh, that's mo. people to, like because it always had to run like payback before, um, <laughs> which is to be fair, pretty good on it. It's a hundred base power move when you attack second and you get With hit. You're attacking second. Yeah, like, um, yeah. If you're moving second, it always doubles in power. So honestly, a pretty strong move. But if crunch is like maybe more reliable, I don't know. So if you have like the, you have that option now, which is nice. It already had Earthquake, so high horsepower is useless. Uh, Rock Blast maybe on regular Agron. Mm. And keep in mind, everything I'm saying also kind of applies to regular Agron too. I know like yeah. Megas aren't in Sword and Shield right now. Mm. So regular Agron Body Press is uh, also a thing. It's just probably not as fun as Mega Agron. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, but Rock Blast, I guess, could be an interesting move on regular Agron because um, Stab, although you already got like Stone Edge. So, I don't know. Um, Metacham gets Blaze Kick and Aura Sphere. Uh, yeah. yeah, I like Aura Sphere, but the fact that this thing gets pure power... I yeah, you're, you're never going to run it. Never going special Metacham, um, but you <laughs> What is Blaze Kick's base power compared to f Fire... So, actually, that's kind of interesting. If you really wanted a Fire move, maybe you got to hit a Grass type or something and... Wait, no, you'd just rather run High Jump Kick. What am I saying? You know, why didn't yeah. this Pokemon get close combat? <laughs> Let's talk about that for a second. It's too frail. Why did every other Pokemon... Like, time out. Like, we're about to be a Sharpedo next. <laughs> Sharpedo has no legs and no hands. No arms. <laughs> it's a fish. <laughs> it got close combat. My boy Metacham, literally a trained fighting guru... <laughs> Listen, if you start applying logic to Pokemon... <laughs> what, is, gonna... what, what is that? That makes no sense. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, Everyone's yeah, still... Yeah. Now you're... Oh, wow. Close combat would have been amazing. And I'm just really... Now that I'm realizing it, I'm going to make... I also think about making a series about like top five what WTF. Like, why, like what is going on? I mean, um, that must have been... Like, that must have been exactly why they didn't... Pure power, close combat cannot be allowed. <laughs> but like they gave Megalopony um, close combat. Yeah, but what Scrappy? That's not like that's not pure power. I guess I don't know. So they they <laughs> want you to still feel bad occasionally with Mega Metachain when you miss and <laughs> <Yeah>. kill your. <laughs> I just like, the fish got close combat, man. The fish got yeah, it. I'm with you there. I don't know why they get it for the fish. Like, this thing literally looks like it's constantly, like, meditating to fight. Like, its whole thing mm. is that it's, like, a fighting type. Oh, my God. Anyways, all right. Whatever. Rant over. Um, Illumise with Pollen Puff, I guess. If doubles, sure. maybe that's a thing. <laughs> um, Sharpedo with Close Combat is pretty cool, though. Um, it's your new best move to hit Steel types. Yep. And you're already really frail. Yep. So, so you don't whatever really, level your chance it goes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it already had earthquake, but yeah, this is a better move to hit. Uh, so like, for example, something like Ferrothorn. This is now your best move to hit it. Yeah. So exactly. that's 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 a big buff. Um, I think that's nice. Of course, it's a fish. <laughs> Why it got close combat is beyond me. Let's not get caught up in the details. <laughs> um, all right. So moving on, camera upped. I don't think any of these... It already had Earthquake and Earth Power. Yeah, so nice buffs for physical camera up for all you camera up lovers out there. Um, Flare Blitz <laughs> is pretty nice for it, I guess, yeah. That's pretty nice. And then Body Press. It's got a defense stat, but... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I hate to keep bringing up Megas, but Mega Camera Up gets Sheer Force. So it could make use of... Flare Blitz, right? Uh, yeah, or wait, does High Horsepower have a second? No, it hasn't. Okay. No, no, that would have been sick. But uh, Flare Blitz has a burn chance. So Flare Blitz, Sheer Force, Mega Camera Up is honestly kind of... That's going to nuke yeah, some well, people. Yeah, in theory, but you can see... It still gets, like, Fire Blast and stuff, so... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, maybe don't nuke your own health. You're, al you're, al you're already 20 speed. <laughs> um, Alrighty, moving on, we got... Grumpig with uh, some more nasty some, plot. Some more nasty plot action. Um, I don't know what Grumpig does. 
It's got a good yeah, special I... defense stat and thick fat. That's kind of cool. Um, sure. It's got a good move pool, honestly. Yeah. Although, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's a like thing. A, yeah, it looks like it used to like to run Combine, so maybe Nasty Plot is just strictly better in some cases. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Don't know what, much more to say about that one. I don't think... If, if Grumpig's your favorite Pokemon, um, <laughs> I don't know why it's your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. He's so cute. <laughs> um, Cacturn gets Swift and Encore. Whatever. Yeah, not not a big deal. Altaria with Fire Spin, not a big deal. Um, That's a huge deal. <laughs> uh, false Swipe, so you can intentionally never kill anything. <laughs> yeah, this is a big buff to play through Altaria when you don't want to <laughs> kill the Legendary. You can start going for False Swipe. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, so Viper, competitively known for its diverse. I don't know anything about Viper. Um, <laughs> It's a mixed attacker, it looks like, um, with a kind of baller move pool. Wow, Aqua Tail, yeah, Earthquake, Dark. Yeah. <laughs> um, Power Whip is probably a really nice addition to this thing's move pool. Wow. Hits those ground types you're kind of afraid of. They don't kill you first with Earthquake. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it about to start laying down the law? Is Survivor becoming meta? Um, or Survivor? Whatever. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Infiltrator though. But it's got so it's got a good move pool, so if you wanted to, it power up is again one of those like things we're looking at where like it's not probably it's probably not gonna make change this Pokemon's competitive viability, but it's still strictly a buff. Right. Um Cradilly with uh Power Whip probably is now Cradilly's best physical grass move, but I don't know if physical Cradilly was ever a thing. I guess it could be. <laughs> yeah, I guess it could have been. You have no reason not to be. But now you have a good a really good grass move if you want it. Yeah, I think um, you would always just rather run Giga Drain though. Yeah. Um, and you got grassy terrain. Nice. In case that was something you really were really interested yeah, in. In case your opponent didn't bring high horsepower and he only thought, got I always thought Cradilly was hideous. <laughs> what? Come on. I always thought like it like doesn't look like anything. Yeah, those things are that intimidate. I'm scared. <laughs> Um, Armaldo. I like Armaldo on the other hand. Uh, but Shadow Claw probably isn't a big deal for it. Um, it already got knockoff, I think. Yeah. Yes. So, and I'm, I think we're both Armaldo truthers, right? Yeah, I love Armaldo. Um, like, super underrated Pokemon, but... Aqua Jet, knockoff, Swift Swim, Stealth Rock, Rapid Spin. Does it all. But overall, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be... Shadow Claw is really helpful for it in that process. Um, kind of a move I, I'm surprised it didn't already get, I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, Walrein with a huge amount of moves it got. Um, I'm shocked yeah, it didn't already get Hydro Pump. Boy, Bennett getting Helping Hand. Oh, yeah, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. My bad. Oh, and Axel gets Air Slash and Close Combat. Oh, did I just skip? I just skipped that. Actually, Close Combat's nice on it. Wow. I, I'm sorry I skipped Absol. That's actually... Absol <laughs> with Close Combat, that's nice. That's your go-to fighting move, because it would run Superpower before. It like, literally would just genuinely run it, so that's a really good buff to it. Lovely. Um, Air Slash... Right. I mean, Mega Absol can be run physically or specially, so... Air Slash is good for that too. So yeah, nice, nice, solid. Bump now we up have there. to talk about Walrein. I am, I am excited about these changes though. Yeah, Walrein's <laughs> getting a lot. Um, not that it's like a great Pokemon, but it's getting a lot of stuff. Um, Swords Dance is cool. Icicle Spear, Liquidation. Yeah, like so shard. Holy moly! Um, that'd be sick. Uh, oh, Aqua Jet actually. Oh no, it doesn't count. Yeah, no. it's, it's it's made to be slow, unfortunately. <laughs> is this is Walrein the only Walrus Pokemon? Only Walrus Pokemon, I assume so. Dugong's a seal, like oh, like a sea lion or something. Yeah, but Wal Walrein evolves from Celio, which is a seal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, it makes sense. <laughs> um, I mean, so liquidation and it's it's just got good go to moves now. Um, uh, Icicle Spear is probably your best Honestly probably your best physical ice move now Because it didn't get yeah. Icicle Crash So Icicle Spears if you wanted to run physical With that Swords Dance that you got 
you're gonna run icicle spirit and liquidation and you're gonna run like earthquake and crunch and stuff good stuff yeah not bad um relicanth with liquidation and body press relicanth has a really good defense stat at 130 so body press is good for it yeah um, and it gets rock blast liquid it's head smash yeah yeah you're running rock head head, head smash all the time <laughs> um but liquidation also probably kind of useful um right. as your go-to now your go-to because i i think on especially on slower pokemon liquidation is always better i always thought maybe on like a fast pokemon let's say like a dragon dance mega gyarados you, you maybe right. would rather run waterfall because it's got the flinch chance yeah just o- over the ch- yeah, yeah. And for only five more power, you get a flinch chance, which is probably more helpful than a 20% chance to rate lower defense, which you probably are either okoing or, like, if you're two at KO, you're either, there's nothing you're not going to two at KO, you know? Yeah, so there's no point lowering defense. Exactly. So, anyways, that was just uh, kind of my unrelated thoughts, but (laughs) for a slower Pokemon, I think Liquidation is always better because you're never going to flinch anything if you're slow. (laughs) Yeah, true. (laughs) Uh, Um... Salamance with Hurricane and Air Slash. I didn't, I thought it already got Air Slash. Yeah, all these, all these Pokemon. I guess it did not. Wow. So wow. Oh my God. This now Sal, so Salamance had no special. Salamance is a thing, but Salamance had no special stab moves on like the, for flying. It only had Dragon Pulse and Draco. Mm. So now special Salamance receives a substantial buff actually. Mm. Wow, that is that's a that's a huge buff for special salamance. Wow, that is nice. <laughs> that is very nice. Unless you're mega, because then you're aerial aerialating hyper voice or whatever. Yeah, no, obviously, but <laughs> hyper beams. If, if you're if you have a format, I guess in Ubers, if you're playing with like Mega Ments and something or other, but in most formats, that's Pokemon's banned or doesn't exist right now. Um, so. Other, special Salamence, though, because Salamence has that mixed attacking ability. Honestly, I don't understand how Salamence's stats are all so good. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I'm like, how does this Pokemon's stats all add up to six? Like, sometimes Pokemon have the same BST, but, like, one Pokemon just feels like it has way more stats. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Salamence has great stats, good, decent bulk, good mixed offenses, good speed. Um, so I think this is a nice buff for it. Uh, yeah. Metagross with, I guess, Psycho Cut, but you already had Zen Headbutt. Um, yeah. And Cosmic Power is interesting, actually. That is cool. I do like that. Why didn't it get Body Press? I feel like this is a Pokemon that should have gotten Body Press. Yeah, look at this thing. He's just, he's waiting to... <laughs> yeah, he's, he's waiting to, like, crush <laughs> someone underneath his body. I feel like that's his whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so why did he... Because that would have... Cosmic Power with Body Press would have been really cool. Mm. I'm, I'm surprised it didn't get Body Press. Next, next DLC will be here again. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Regirock actually a big one here is Body Press Regirock. Um, in, for, in a similar vein to Agron. Right, because now you can hit Steel types more easily, and you have a pretty beefy defense stat to make use of. Absolutely. Um, I don't know if you're ever gonna run Flash Cannon, but Heavy Slam actually might be useful to it sometimes as well right yeah that's really cool i'm liking i'm liking body press on all these random pokemon it's good um red Eyes also gets heavy slam but nothing really to note of there yeah, and high school spear i guess it's cool <laughs> but you're running special with red Eyes, so <laughs> oh well um reggie steel with heavy slam as well which is nice if you were in a situation yep. where maybe gyro ball is not the move you want to run um or iron head wasn't the move you want to run maybe you can find niches where like oh it doesn't even get gyro ball i'm crazy it only got iron head okay never mind so heavy slam could be good <laughs> heavy slam could be not bad yeah plus and, it gets body press too. and there you go there's your body press to be, potentially be your go-to <laughs> move for opposing uh steel types so yeah. that's good um these are big ones latias and latios Good lord, look at these. Moves. Yeah, these, 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 this fella and fellette right here, <laughs> they got some toys. Um, the biggest of which probably being Aurasphere. Uh, I was gonna say Mystical Fire. Well, because they both, both of those are pretty big. Both help with opposing steel types. Yeah. Um, that's the big thing right there. Right. Um, 
Oh, and Latias gets Dragon Dance. Now. Yeah, Latias already had it. I don't think you're ever going to run Dragon Dance Latias because it's not good. <laughs> like, if you're going to run Dragon Dance on one of these two, you're just going to run Latios because it's just, like it's usable at least with Dragon Dance. But overall, I think um, Aura Sphere is a big deal, honestly, for these. And Agility is kind of cool, too. Yeah. Uh, like a, I could imagine like an Agility Latios being decent, honestly, because it's got such a high special attack set already. Yeah, and now you've got these coverage moves to make use of. Exactly. Um, I don't think Psycho Cut's that useful because you've got Zen Headbutt if you're running physical. Um, right. Baton Pass like could be interesting as well, like a Calm Mind Baton Pass or something. Yeah. Um, so, wait, does... Break, so does Latias not get Dragon Claw? I think they both get Dragon Claw. All right, never mind then. Um, future Sight, you know, if you were ever <laughs> <laughs> trying to hit three turns later or something. Yeah, doing some meme stuff. <laughs> and... Um, I'm surprised they didn't get Nasty Plot, but maybe that would have been too much. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Like, <laughs> I guess also, like, the whole thing is, like, they're, like, benevolent, like, spirit dragon things. So, like, if right. they got Nasty Plot, like, what are they plotting? Like, yeah, what are you doing over there? Like, it makes more sense, like, Alakazam gets Nasty Plot, because it's, like, yeah. literally he's the big brain. The box, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. He's the big brain, you know? He's, like, the mastermind. So, maybe Latios and Latios getting Nasty Plot didn't make as much sense. Um, mm. Kyogre with Heavy Slam... Not a big deal. Groudon, Heat Crash, I guess, is interesting. It already got Flare Blitz, I think. Uh, I guess for it's Primal Groudon, it's kind of interesting. Oh, God. It actually, no, it didn't. Wow. Okay. Heat Crash could be your go to fire move now because it only got Fire Punch. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure. Now, call me crazy. I'm pretty okay. sure Primal Groudon is really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Something's different. <dead. laughs> I'm going to just give you guys a quick rundown on it, though. There's, yeah, it's got to be. It's 999.7 kilograms, which, keeping in mind that the highest Pokemon can weigh is 999 kilograms. <laughs> so, like, that's they, they don't go to 1,000. Like, Celesteel, I'm pretty sure, is the heaviest Pokemon at 999.9. <laughs> okay. So, fun fact, Celesteel is 0.2 kilograms heavier than Primal Groudon. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. Did Celestia break the scale, or does it indeed, like, it, it just, they just gave us the number they could measure. The Pokemon scientists were like, ah, our scale only goes this high, so whatever. Pokemon, we'll like, sizes also, like, that's all, I could do a whole video on that. Like, they make oh no God. sense. They're so inconsistent. Like, yeah. like, if you watch the TV show and the Pokedex, they're always rampantly different. Like, <laughs> you see Groudon in, uh, see, Groudon here is, like, how tall do you think Groudon is? Like, like regular Groudon, how tall do you think it is? He is ten feet tall. Well, exactly, he's ten feet tall. That's actually how exactly how tall he is, basically. Oh, right. <laughs> he's actually, I think, even a little taller. But I'm thinking like Groudon, the Pokemon that made the like the land, like the Earth. Like, I was thinking like fifty feet. <laughs> it felt pretty reasonable. He should be like thirty at least. <laughs> <laughs> like he's like like a little bit taller than like Yao Ming <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know it just feels a little disappointing <laughs> that's a good way to put it yeah. <laughs> or like Charizard like this dr dragon is actually shorter than me <laughs> mm. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure Charizard's like 5 it's 1.7 meters he's like 5'6 <laughs> he's a dragon <laughs> like that kids ride around on <laughs> can you imagine like this five foot six like it's like a, it's a chubby short dragon <laughs> i don't know anyways just my rant on pokemon side is i've been ranting a lot today the rant the episode yeah. <laughs> um rayquaza with breaking swipe hydro pump and cosmic power uh hydro pump probably cool for it yeah I mean, cosmic power is interesting but and then finally we have deoxys with nasty plot which i think already got nasty plot but Maybe. Maybe it was an event only. It, I think it was an event only move because yeah, it already got it, but it was probably some weird thing where you now are a little more unrestricted to run it. <laughs> Keeping in mind, Nasty Plot's awesome on Deoxys, um, on all the literally on all Deoxys forms. Um, yeah. So does that mean every form gets it? Yeah, and they all uh, already got it, so I don't really understand this one. Ah. Uh, but now they all definitely get it. <laughs> for um, sure. This I think, I mean, the biggest beneficiaries, like, 
Deoxys, the, the thing that's interesting about the Deoxys forms is like Deoxys attack is like regular Deoxys is 150, 150, 150 for speed, special attack, and, and attack. Sorry. So its attacks are both 150 and speed is 150. Sure. Um, Deoxys attack, which is that feels like it should be Deoxys attack to me, but Deoxys attack is 180, 180. Um, it looks like slightly better. Yeah. And then. Deoxys speed is uh, 180 speed and then just has way more bulk. Mm. Um, but it's interesting. I don't know which Deoxys uses Nasty Plop the best. It could be Deoxys speed just because it's so fast. It like outspeeds all the Scarfers out there in the world too. Right. Um, it could be Deoxys attack just because kill everything. I don't know. Meaningless point. Just... <laughs> me wondering anyways any last thoughts here dan uh i really like i really like my boy wall Rain getting sword stance that's got me excited <laughs> i like it too i like it too yeah. um i think for me i love that like swampert because mudkip's my favorite pokemon i love yeah. that swampert got so many new toys um that's that's awesome and I, I like that Agaron got body press i hate <laughs> that metacham didn't get close combat <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, some cool stuff. I hate that Metagross didn't get body press. Oh, well. But you win some, you lose some. And with that, we will end today's video. Um, thank you guys for sticking around if you made it this far in this video for whatever reason. If you did make it this far, be sure to say so in the comment section below. And I'm going to give you a special, I don't know, I don't know what. Um, we'll figure, <laughs> We'll figure. Dan and I will figure something out. We'll give you a little yeah, special we'll treat. <laughs> <laughs> but if you watched until here, definitely make sure you let us know. And uh, we'll be coming out with the other four three generations because gen 8 obviously doesn't work because it's already in the game <laughs> but we'll come out <laughs> with the remaining generations hopefully pretty soon and until next time we will see you guys later crack nation and entei out mm -hmm.